It is my pleasure to share the story of our third place Abe Lincoln Scholarship recipient. Like so many others we've met today, this student is a scholar, an involved campus leader, and an athlete. As a scholar, our recipient carries a 4.0 plus GPA and is currently taking several advanced level courses. As a campus leader, our recipient is involved in student council and National Honor Society and several other organizations. Our recipient has demonstrated his abilities on the football field for years, and yes, he has held down part-time jobs while balancing all of this. Like so many of our students today, this student's life has been touched by senseless violence and devastating loss. According to one of this student's teachers, this individual has made more progress in four years than many people do in a lifetime. By consistently working to improve himself, he has been able to learn difficult lessons and apply those lessons in life, as well as helping others to improve themselves. The timeline of our scholar's last few years is filled with sadness and loss. His father was diagnosed with esophageal cancer in August of 2015, and the next two years were filled with the ups and downs of a terrible battle with cancer. Cancer robbed our student of the father he knew, the father who had watched every football game since the first grade, but he missed his entire junior year of football. Dealing with his father's cancer battle was not the only trial to come to this young man. In May of 2017, two of his classmates and friends were involved in a shooting. His classmate Angel died immediately, and his friend and football teammate Dijon died two weeks later. During the same period, his grandmother passed away. Then in July of 2017, his father lost his battle with cancer, and then another teammate, John, and also his aunt also passed away due to cancer. All of this would have left most people angry, negative, and frozen in life, but not our scholarship recipient. He used these events and this moment to make a life decision. He changed his mindset and moved forward. In his own words, because of my father and everyone else in my life that had passed, I decided to ch really change my life and change other people's lives. My senior year, I went on to be president of Just Say No Club because with the implications that smoking had caused for my father, I figured if I could help make a difference and to try to stop others from living through the same pain that I had been through. I also became the public relations officer of our student council, a member of the National Honor Society and Walker Career Center Honor Society, the treasurer of a non-for-profit corporation known as We Live Inc. that helps spread awareness about violence and in particular youth violence. This organization was created after one of my beloved teammates, Dijon Anderson, had lost his life to violence. I've been accepted to five universities and I hope to even play football in college. I wanted to do nothing more than to make my dad proud. Our scholarship recipient decided to change lives and according to his coach, because of his attitude and drive, this young man has become the face of Warren Central High School and has impacted lives across the East Side through his leadership and personality. His decisions to move forward in a positive direction has impressed our committee and I am 100% sure that you have made your dad very proud. It is with great pleasure that we award the third place Abe Lincoln Scholarship to Charles Peterson of Warren Central High School. So are you surprised? A little bit, yes. It must, it must be an incredible feeling. You have had so much loss in your life in such a short period of time. What, what have you learned about yourself through that? Um, with, me, with me personally, um, I've always tried to bring joy to other people's lives, especially when mine, it, mine is not going so well. 
And as you just read, and um, I wrote in my essay, when all this stuff was happening, in the, especially the past year, um, I, I decided to take it upon myself to make others happy so I can be happy. So that, that's what I really wanted to focus on, and that's why I took part in all these clubs and organizations to, to just bring joy to other people's lives so I could have joy in mine. There's really a wisdom to that, um, and one thing that we find in, in all of our um, scholarship winners is that they realize that service is a way to push it back out. Now, you're also, they call you the face of the school. Yeah. Now, how is that? Um, I'm really just everywhere with, uh, <laughs> with student council. Um, as you were talking about We Live, uh, that's really boosted this year, and I'm, I'm really glad to see where that's going in the next couple years. Um, and just like every, I, I like to be involved in everybody's life, especially at Warren Central, and just help everybody be happy and joyous. So, so yeah. If money were no object, um, name a couple of two or three occupations, things you would want to do, including your dream job. Well, uh, including my dream job, so marketing and management, I'd love to be a sports marketer, um, especially for like the Pacers right now, they're really going off. I'd love to. <laughs> To market them, um, I'd also if if money were not a thing, I'd love to be a teacher and bring light to kids' lives. And you know, coaching would go apart with that. And I love the game of football, and I love to do what my coach does and what other coaches in my school do. Um, and besides that, I mean, anything business. I'm a businessman. Anything business. Yeah. And so, where are you going to go go to school? Uh, right now, I've actually narrowed it down to Manchester University and Wittenberg University. Both I can continue my athletic and academic career at. What would you like to say to the people who have helped you, both here on earth and then who have passed to another place? Uh, words can't really explain how much you guys and people upstairs uh, mean to me. Uh, like, I wouldn't be the man I am today without some of you guys, and I, v I very much appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. Thank you.